In this question, the anatomical sections are arranged to match CT and MRI sections. Now you are asked to match which of the sections first is at the level of tracheal bifurcation. Let's look at the sections again. You will see here that in section B, look at the trachea here. The trachea is, has started to divide. Uh, again, you can see here on the right side of the trachea is the arch of the azygous vein. So the presence of the arch of the azygous vein indicates that the level of the section is at the level of the tracheal bifurcation, which matches the intervertebral disc between T4 and T5 vertebra. Also, you can see here the ascending and the descending thoracic aorta. Now, which of the sections shows the arch of the azygous vein? It has been just mentioned here. This is the arch of the azygous vein here in section B. Which of the sections is at the level of the left dome of the diaphragm? So let's look on the left side of the section. Here, there, we cannot see the diaphragm, but only in this section we can see the, here is the left dome of the diaphragm has been shown here. On the right side, we cannot see the right dome of the diaphragm. We can see, instead, we can see the liver because the right dome of the diaphragm is located at a higher level than the left dome of the diaphragm. It is pushed upwards by the liver. So in one section, we can see the left dome, but not the right dome of the diaphragm. We can only catch the right dome of the diaphragm in a section that is located at a higher level than this one. Which section is at the level of the first costal cartilage? So uh, definitely uh, this one is not at the level of the first costal cartilage because it shows the domes of the diaphragm. Here we can see the left atrium and so it is located in the uh, level of the inferior mediastinum. This is the level of the tracheal bifurcation and the arch of the azygous vein and the costal cartilage that is located at this level should be the second costal cartilage. We are left only with this section, which we can see here, a costal cartilage attached to the manubrium of the sternum. And this is uh, most likely the first costal cartilage. This section is located above the level of the tracheal bifurcation, and it shows the union of the left brachiocephalic vein with the right brachiocephalic vein to form the superior vena cava, and this is uh, located behind uh, the beginning of the superior vena cava is located behind the right first costal cartilage. Also, we can see here the arch of the aorta. So definitely this section is above the level of the second costal cartilage, the transthoracic plane. It's above it. So we are at the level of the first costal cartilage. Which section shows the inferior vena cava? Of course, we have to go to a lower level section. And here we can see the inferior vena cava penetrating the central tendon of the diaphragm and opening into the right atrium of the heart. Which section is at the level of the eighth thoracic vertebra? Of course, it will be the same section because the inferior vena cava penetrates the central tendon of the diaphragm at the level of the eighth thoracic vertebra. Which section shows a tricuspid valve? Let's look at the sections of the heart. So we are left with this one and this one. The tricuspid valve is located uh, between the um, right atrium and the right ventricle. So this is the right side of the heart. We can see here the right atrium receiving the inferior vena cava. This is the right ventricle. Look at the right ventricle. It forms the most of the anterior surface of the heart. And this is the opening between the right atrium and the right ventricle. And you can see two of the cusps of the tricuspid valve. Which uh, section is at the highest level? As we have just mentioned earlier, that this section is at the highest level. It is located at the level of the first coastal cartilage. This one is at the level of the tracheal bifurcation uh, because we can see the tracheal bifurcation. We can see the arch of the azygous vein. And this will be the uh, third in the series from above downwards. And this is the lowermost one where we can see the inferior vena cava passing through the central tendon of the diaphragm. Which of the sections shows the interatrial septum? So we have to look at a section that shows both atria and it is this section. This one only shows the right 
atrium, but this one shows the right atrium and the left atrium. This is the left atrium that forms the base of the heart. It's the posterior chamber of the heart. And here's the interatrial septum between the left atrium and the right atrium.